You can go and ask your bro, we got a tack. And if the rats. I, 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 that's one of the things I guess I have to agree with. Linked by DNA photographs in a video to the self-loading pistol, which just three. So, I mean, look at this. This is all on their fucking phones. Be smarter than that. Don't take pictures of yourself doing crimes. Yo, I'm from the home of the Beatles. They shoot houses. We shoot people. Not a Yo, I'm home from the Beatles. They shoot houses. We shoot people. Rats like weed and packets. So don't get seen in traffic. So far, the only thing I agree with, I smoke rats like a weed in packets. All right. I can understand that. I'm not advocating it. Don't get me wrong. But rats are rats, right? You know what I'm talking about. Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. But who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And what he do? And he's gonna react to all the self snitching. Oh. Hi, this is Bruce Rivers. Welcome to another fun filled episode of Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers, your board personal. No, your personal board certified criminal defense lawyer, along with our. Content Genius, coming to you with my pearl handle pistol cufflink, so graciously gifted to me by Michael Rivers, our Content Genius. Today we're going to kind of go back to our roots a little bit. Remember we got our kind of our start in reacting to drill, reacting to, you know, all kinds of drill. There's New York drill, Detroit drill, there's English drill, Irish drill, there's drill all over the place. And what is drill? Drill is this hardcore form of diss tracks where they talk about violent, and uh, and reprehensible conduct, and sometimes they smoke about uh, talk about smoking on their dead ops. Um, it's just a form of expression, you know, where we have uh, artistic license to talk about the nasty shit we want to do to our enemies. <laughs> and the reason why it's um, interesting to a guy like me is because. This is where I got, this is actually where I got the term self snitching came from because these people put shit online and they put stuff in their music and in their videos that gets them in trouble. It's called self snitching. And if you're from Patreon and you didn't order a hat yet, then what's wrong with you? Because you need to be spreading the word because we need to stop this self snitching. But before we get to that, Grandma. Grandma in my basement, you know, we make sure she doesn't self-snitch. She actually is pretty savvy in that regard. But, you know, Grandma is getting up there in age. She's, um, you, know, you know, in her late 50s. And <clears throat> she has, uh, you know, she's just a little reckless with her conduct sometimes. And so what do we have to do? We have to get control of her finances. Because she's making more money than ever with her Only Feed Fans uh, account. And so I want to make sure that she's covered in case she has to go to a home or this or that. So we have got power of attorney over grandma's assets. And so how did we do that? We went to eForms.com. eForms.com, very effective way to avoid lawyers like me. But you can also use it for a bill of sale, rental agreement, any kind of agreement. Even grandmas use eForms.com. It's really easy to use. doesn't cost much. keeps you out of court and keeps you away from lawyers like me. All right. So Mazda L20 is uh, a guy who um, got in trouble because of shit found on his phone. In 2016, in Liverpool Crown Court, the court heard how police detectives found footage on Malcolm Graham's phone which showed him testing the Russian-made automatic handgun which was used to shoot dead Kevin Wilson. In August of 2016, Footage played in court showed one of Graham's associates doing a line of Class A substance off of the barrel of a sawn-off shotgun and a video of Malcolm test firing the Russian-made handgun previously mentioned. Now, here's the thing. You guys out there, you know, nothing happens if it's not online, right? Right. Um, it's just so stupid for you guys to put shit on your phone. Whether it's a firearm, you know, I, I had a guy had pictures of him and videos of him shooting a firearm means it was a convicted felon. They could date, put the date, time, and place. You know, <clears throat> whenever you take a picture of something on like an iPhone, you have the metadata, and the metadata shows exactly the date, time, and place, and lo you know the location, the GPS coordinates. So you can't say it didn't happen here, there, or where, unless it's like a screenshot somebody sends you. And putting stuff like that on your phone might be fun to watch it for a while, but if something happens later where the authorities get your phone, guess what? 
if I had any defense before, you're fucked now because uh, it's it, it's self snitching. And it's and this we got this from Fumes the engineer, and this is where we first found it. And so give him some love, and uh, and let's just see what we can see what we can find out. Let's see what happens. Yeah, yeah baby. Mm. What you mean? You're putting bullets in your strap. I put something in the clipper. Let it squeeze. Pull it back. Let it clap. So when you're in in uh, Great Britain, uh, they don't have guns there. Guns are pretty much outlawed there. So it's very uncommon for somebody to have guns, especially if you're on the street. And the guns that they did have were uh, illegal, would be would be illegal in the United States. One's a sawed-off shotgun, and the other was a fully automatic pistol. Lee, you so crazy. I'm from the city, Mizzy Knight was like the page. He tried to run me over till I caught him slipping with his bed. He got shot and still survived. That's a gift and a case. Fact of fear. It's a gift and a curse. Give because it's not a homicide, but a curse because he's still alive. He tried to run me over till I caught him slipping with his bird. Slipping with a bird probably means he's with his girl. For that 12 gauge, fair degree bands. Every night like Halloween, don't be making wrong tans. Turn you to a scary movie if you're with the wrong fam. Factor 50 for that 12 gauge. You know, when you put this shit in the music, you know, like you're specific about a 12 gauge, and then they find a fucking sawed off 12 gauge with some dope on it that you're snorting off of it. I mean, and that's on your fucking phone. You know, and and he, he's he's able to make some of this music from prison, which I find just absolutely phenomenal. With the lifers, bro. We got long terms. I met the realest of kids, bro. They don't belong there. Don't judge a book by its cover. White. I got long hair to get your book. So let's analyze this statement here. We grew up with the lifers, bro. We got long terms. In other words, we got, you know, lengthy prison sentences and we grew up with and lifers can uh, can refer to people who are doing long stints in prison or people who are committed to a certain lifestyle. To set you up and light you up, it's not fair. I'm still with the savages, we rob your mom clear and take the shoes off your feet and all the watches that you wear. So I'm still uh, I'm still with the savages, rob your mom clear, uh, and take your shoes off your feet, uh, the watches that you wear. It's licensed, you know, it is artistic license, I suppose. But if you're if you're really that about that thug life and you're really that thug and you're really that, you know, British guy who's gonna steal your watch, your Montclair or whatever, um, guess what? This could be used against you. So don't be acting like it's optional to wear. Leave them in the hospital, cause if I don't you won't learn. And what you mean you put on bullets in your strap? Put something in the clip, I let it squeeze, pull it back, let it clap. They been fucking with the flow because it slaps. Fuck the rats, you can go and ask your bro, we got attacked. Fuck the rats. I, 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 that's one of the things I guess I have to agree with. They've been fucking with the flow because it slaps. Fuck the rats. You go and ask your bro, he got attacked. It wasn't, and if it wasn't me, I'd probably have him slashed. Okay. If it wasn't me, then I probably got him slashed. I'm like Zoro in a mask, hit it, bang, see the flash. They're like Mazda, done a Mazda, now he's back again. Plugged in with fumes, fuck the rats, I had to slap it then. Free flock, he's in a walk, he's got to save a wreck. He calls himself the realest, but I don't believe a word he said. So, free flock, he's in the walk, he's got to serve a wreck, in other words, a long prison sentence. He calls himself the realest, but I don't believe a word he said. Lee, you so crazy. From he's not a scout, so he's from Birkenhead. Don't be trying to tell me about no bootings if he's nearly dead. Do it on to runs, but when we done it, we was paying the pets. Gangsters on the net, but in the flesh, they're a nervous wreck. Me boy just got. So I love this. Gangsters on the net, uh, but in the flesh, they're a nervous wreck. In other words, what he's saying, he, you're all hat and no cattle. That's another way of saying, you know, you're you're a tough guy when you're on the internet, but in in person, uh, you're gonna fold. Basically, the thrust of that is. Twitter fingers don't turn into trigger fingers. I think we've heard that someplace before, haven't we? Beast and caught the spinner. I know where it's kept. I'm praying that they slip. I watch the news. Who's getting next? Who's getting 
Next. Went out, got slashed, got more than a plastic. They said I'm a cheeky bastard. Got slapped with a style like Patrick. Got shot in the chest and backflip. Me and two... When Blank got slashed, that's somebody got more than a plaster. They said I'm a cheeky bastard. Blank got slapped with a star like a Patrick. In other words, uh, there, and each one of these things that are bleeped out is somebody's name. Blank got shot in the chest and backflipped. Those are very specific references to, to people. But it's vague enough, so if you don't know what they're talking about, who knows if they can get them on that. Don't free one hatchet, jumped in deep, no time for practice. I was out with a bow, no master, aim for the head, trying to leave my hatless. I used to keep my gun in a mattress. 16 got nicked on daftness, now I got links all over the atlas. I can tell you about hunger pains, because I know about sadness. I got links all over the atlas. That line right there could be used as risk of flight. In other words, I've got so many, you know, like, remember Andrew Tate? You know, I've got seven passports, I can go wherever the fuck I want. Guess where he is? Romania. If they get blasted, we get captured. Jay got shot with a four fantastic. Got sweet with a knock tank fastics. Left you with a John no Baptist. Then he went and smoked himself this bastard. I got a blame. They got blasted, we got captured. Jay got shot with a four. Fantastic. Got sweets, but they're not tank fastics. Left blank with a John no Baptist. Uh, then he went and smoked himself the, the spastic. Smoked himself probably represent you know, suicide, I suppose. <clears throat> but. It's all this absolutely talking about murder as as though it were ordering a cup of coffee. You know, and, and this is stuff that people think is, you know, good music, you know. I mean, it's got its nice rhythm, right? They are treating each one of these spiffs as, as accolades. Far from average. That strap's got teeth like an XL bully. Top boy shit I like who kills Sully. When he got shot, I found it funny. I pat on a walk of the slander the fully. I come from not and I've never had money. Yo. And and what kills me is is the indifference. You know, the indifference to human life. And when he got shot, I found it funny. Would it ever be funny to have somebody get shot? I, I can't imagine it's either satisfying because they needed to get shot, or it's tragic, one of the two. I can't imagine it being funny. So that strap's got teeth like an XL bully. It's a dog that it was recently outlawed in the UK. Top boy, uh, top boy shit. I'm like, who killed Sully? When he got shot, I found it funny. Um, you know, it, it, the indifference that they talk about to human life is, and you know, and look at they're all, you know, up on their, you know, masked up and. I just, I, I have an issue with the indifference to human life. Yo, I'm from the home of the Beatles. They shoot houses, we shoot people. Not a whiff of a say. Yo, I'm home from the Beatles. They shoot houses, we shoot pe people. Uh, fuck. Shit, I love smoke, I'm an addict. Metal on me like I'm a mechanic. The thing kicks back when I clap it, damn it. Now we're gonna bang this jacket, sack it, pass it, grab it and slap it. Like, why you gonna be so graphic? This is I love smoke, I'm an addict. Metal on me like I'm a mechanic. You know, one of the things that really doesn't go well together? Controlled substance and firearms. If you have a, a shit ton of weed, for example, that could be like nothing, you know? But if you have a ton of weed and a firearm, that's a fucking problem. That could be a mandatory prison sentence. Be careful what you do. If you're out there with a bunch of controlled substances, you don't want to be having uh, any firearms with you. You just don't. The life we live, the life we live's erratic. Still got beef, what you know about static? I have my man bleeding, cladded, I seen him panic. I smoke rats like weed in packets, so don't get seen in traffic. We pull up on a jilly get... So far, the only thing I agree with, I smoke rats like a weed in packets. All right, I can understand that. I'm not advocating it. Don't get me wrong. But rats are rats, right? You know what I'm talking about. Pretty than dusty, now many minutes and billion, trust me. Left that strap in a bush, went rusty, shush on a bush, screaming woofty. Yo. So don't get seen in traffic. We but pull them a jitty, get diddy, uh, them dusty nine milli. What does that refer to? Nine millimeter. Uh, and trust me, left that strap in the bush, uh, went rusty. So that sounds really fucking specific. You know, to a crime that uh, occurred. And if they can link it up, they could probably use this as an admission of what? A party opponent. 
Liverpool City, so runs and crosses. One tens and Hugo bosses. We play real life cops and robbers. We shoot at offers and run from the coppers. What's good, my brother? What's popping? I'm on a lifetime firearm ban. Can't even touch no party. I, I like this. I like this line. We play real life uh, cops and robbers. We shoot at operas and run from coppers. Um, but guess what? It's so much easier when you're not running from nobody. So think about what you do. If you're a young gang member out there, think about ways you cannot be one. Think about doing other things positive with your life other than this kind of shit. Poppers, years on a wing with a signal, jammers and signal blockers. I treat this high risk seller like our office. Fuck all the rats. Fumes, the engineer. Oh, we just heard uh, Plugged In With Fumes by Maza L20, you know, British rapper. And he went to prison uh, based upon, you know, the possession of a firearm. Um, and let me, let's me let just take a look at some of the footage we got. Bombs offences must receive punishments from the court. CCTV footage was also played which showed Graham attacking another inmate at Hindley Young Offenders Prison. So he, he was attacking another inmate at, at a juvenile offender prison. And that happened while he was serving a three-year prison sentence uh, for the firearms, for the possession of a firearm. The court was also told how Malcolm had attacked one of his co-defendants, punching him in the face, causing him to lose teeth. Graham accused the man of being a little rat and saying, why have you been swerving me? Tarquin McCallum, who was representing Alan, said that his client was ashamed of that cowardly act and did not foresee the injuries that it would cause. His lawyer says in court that, you know, he's sorry, he... Didn't see the foresee the injuries that were caused, and they must have been significant. Otherwise, he wouldn't be, you know, where he is. And it's difficult when you have somebody that's f flying in the face of this shit. And I guarantee you, these videos that we're showing you now all made it all made their way into court. You know, I mean, the one guy snorting do uh, snorting cocaine off of or whatever it was uh, off of the guy's you know sawed off shotgun. It's on your phone, you know, and so you get three years because of that. And here, here in Minnesota, or here in the United States, you probably get five years. You know, and then they also have him playing with the gun that ultimately was uh, led to the death of another individual. Detective Inspector Richard Jones said, The sentencing of these offenders today sends out a strong message to those involved in gun crime. Merseyside Police is committed to taking those involved in gun crime off of the streets. Malcolm Graham and Lewis Clark were both linked by DNA photographs in a video to the self-loading pistol, which just three... So, I mean, look at this. This is all on their fucking phones. You guys, be smarter than that. Don't take pictures of yourself doing crimes. Better yet, do something like build your life instead of... You think these guys can do anything in prison? I mean, I guess he's doing rap from in prison. Um, and, and it is what it is, but... I'd still rather build something else outside of prison and not be responsible for the death of, of a young man. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> this has just been our reaction to uh, Maz L20, a uh, British rapper, and the shit they find on, on his phone. So we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers, your personal board-certified criminal defense lawyer. We'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, sign up for Patreon. And in the meantime, build, build a life, build a life that you want. You know, you start building with your family, your friends, your relationships, work on your education, your finances, your spiritual life. When you get all that shit together, guess what? You look back a few years later and you say, look what I just built. And then you continue to build instead of having to rebuild because you made really shitty decisions. So Bruce Rivers criminally reacts with Michael Rivers with our pearl handle pistol cufflinks. We'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. 23 hour lockdown, please is that my god?